Wednesday at 9 on Metro Media 11. It's front row action on the next entertainment tonight as E.T. goes to the movies with The French Connection and Gene Hackman. We had guys uh, in the scene, real people, who uh, were stone killers. Then discover why superstar Lionel Richie is going all night long on his own. Plus, get a preview of the star-studded miniseries Chiefs. Your favorite entertainers are on the next Entertainment Tonight. Entertainment Tonight, Monday at 8 here on Metro Media 11. You'll get front row action when E.T. goes to the movies and ties up the French connection. Entertainment Tonight, Monday at 8 here on Metro Media 11. From Hollywood, it's the world's greatest talent hunt. It's Star Search with your host, Ed McMahon. Ed's special guests tonight are Mr. T and from the love boat, Bernie Capel. And the returning Star Search champions from last week from Atlanta, Georgia, T. Renee Crutcher. From North Carolina, Lisa Parker. From Seattle, Rick Tukeman. From New York, Kid Danger and the Skirts. From Toronto, Dorothy Gula. From South Carolina, Uptown Express. And from Oklahoma, six-time winner, Sam Harris. All going for a million and a half dollars and the title, Best New Stars for 1984. And now the star of Star Search, Ed McMahon. Thank you very much. Good evening and welcome to Star Search. This is week number 10. We've got another exciting show for you. Our champions from last week are ready to go. We've got two great guest stars with us tonight. Bernie Coppell, the doctor from Love Boat, and Mr. T ah, from A-Team. You know, I went by Mr. T's dressing room a few moments ago to say hello. I didn't have to knock on the door. He'd already eaten it. <laughs> Actually, Mr. T is a very nice man. He really is. And believe me, anyone who says otherwise probably won't have a face. <laughs> All right, tonight you'll see a champion and a challenger in seven talent categories. Each performance, our judges will judge electronically, giving one to four votes for being best. Now, in the event of a tie, you, the audience, will decide the winner. The competition begins tonight with the female vocalist category. Our returning champion is trying for her fifth victory. I can't believe it. Uh, I still have my fingers crossed, however, but I won't be greedy. If I can get to the semifinals, I'll be satisfied. I won't be too greedy. But I, I have to truly say that it's, uh, it's a challenge and it's great. And it's, um, it's kind of a little nice little ego trip to say I'm on my way out to Los Angeles again to do Star Search. From Atlanta, welcome T. Renee Crutcher. <laughs>
Thank you, Renee. Cast your votes, judges. And let's meet her challenger, singing a song she wrote herself. From Los Angeles, Hilia Matthew. Are you thinking right now? There's blues and there's blue. And I'm crying out loud. Do I stay? Do I go? One side and I'll go. Are you thinking right now? Tonight, there's a distance in you. I can see in your eyes. Tell me what can I do? You speak, I can't hear. Are you really there? Are you thinking right now? I'm lost in this love, and it's all that I think of. Judges give female vocals champion T. Renee Crutcher. Three stars. Her challenger, Celia Matthews, receives. Three stars. We have a tie. Congratulations. All right. That means the audience will decide that at the end of the show. Okay. It's going to be pretty exciting tonight. Now, we want to tell you something that's important, and that is that each of these performers can stay on the show as long as they want to. And as long as they win, they're with us. But Renee is already on her way to the semifinals. Each act on Star Search receives a scale payment in excess of $1,000. Champions receive their scale payment plus a bonus of $1,000. For example, T. Renee Crutcher has already received over $10,000. Then he got a chance to go on to the finals, where the grand champion in each category will win $100,000. Now stick around. We'll be back. Male vocalist Sam Harris is going for his seventh win tonight. Our TV spokesmodel champion and Mr. T after this brief time. J.C. Penney dedicates the Stafford collection to the well-dressed man. All wool Harris tweed jacket, one hundred thirty dollars. Wool slacks, fifty dollars. Argyle sweater, available in a variety of colors, $32. The Stafford Collection, only at J.C. Penney, dedicated to the well-dressed man. Now there is a longer-lasting flavor in New Dentine. How long will the flavor last? Till the cows come home. Possibly an eternity. <laughs> Longer than I did. Dentine's been improved. New Dentine has longer-lasting flavor, so you can brush your breath even longer. Commander Miller, how long will the flavor last you? Oh, about three million miles. Your eyes will tell you. Your mouth will tell you. Stouffer's Lean Cuisine not only looks terrific, it tastes terrific. And if that's not enough, your scale will tell you. Your mirror will tell you. His eyes will tell you that great lean cuisine taste is less than 300 calories. I love the way it looks on me. I love the way it looks on me. The first time ever I saw your face. Each time he looks.
looks at you, it all comes back. Because the greaseless fluids in Oil of Olay revive the radiance and ease tiny dry lines. The first time ever I saw your face. Oil of Olay. It can help you look younger, too. Welcome back. Time for the TV spokesmodel category, where our models are judged on poise, beauty, and the ability to speak effectively in a variety of situations. Our returning champion is trying for her third win tonight from Halifax, North Carolina, Lisa Parker. Hi, Lisa. How are you, darling? Nice to see you. Welcome back. Has uh, modeling changed your life very much? Uh, has it affected the way people react to you? Well, it has changed my life. Coming from such a small town as Halifax mm -hmm. and moving to New York City, where I'm with the Ford Modeling Agency, it's enabled me to travel around parts of the world I probably never would have seen before. These people won't believe it. You told me last week how many people in Halifax, the total population, counting everybody, not the dogs or cats, just everybody. 400, but since I left, 399. Okay. <laughs> All right, Lisa, good luck tonight. Here she is in her latest Star Search photo session. Let's open this with your best shot. Right there. We're going to come in. Beautiful. Yes, right there. Beautiful. Just feel that wind. Come on around. Yes, just snuggle into the fur right there. Beautiful. That's it. Just have fun with it. Yes, that's it, Lisa. Very sweet. Yes, right there. Snuggle in. Come on up. You're the center of attention. Just ignore those men on the beach. Yes, right there. That's it. Beautiful. Here's our cover shot. Thank you, uh, Lisa. We'll um, meet her challenger in just a few moments. Right now, let's meet tonight's judges. First, from Epic Records, involved in the recording careers of such artists as The Clash, Michael Jackson, Dan Fogelberg, Vice President of West Coast Marketing, Larry Douglas. <laughs> Vice President of the Jack Field Agency, representing such stars as Ed Asner, Meredith Baxter Burney, and Harry Belafonte, talent agent Michael Marshall. From Columbia Pictures, involved in such stars as Joan Jett and Barbara Streisand and the motion picture soundtrack albums for A Star Is Born and The Big Chill, Vice President and Director of Music, Gary Lamell. <laughs> and top international stylist and beauty consultant for television and motion pictures, advisors to such stars as Marsha Mason, Donald Sutherland, and Lee Remick. Image maker, Dusty Fleming. Thank you all, judges. Remember, we ask that you evaluate the overall star potential of each of tonight's performers based on appearance and stage presence, basic natural ability, style, and individuality, and professionalism. Now, the comedy competition is next. Here to help me introduce our comedians is the toughest guy on television from the A-Team, the one, the only, the incredible Mr. T. <laughs> So nice. It was so nice of him not to use his full force. Thank you so much. I have a small hand. Uh, did you hear what I said about you at the top of the show? Yes, I did. Oh. <laughs> just a, a little joshing to get everybody in a good mood. I, just a joke. I know that you were a bodyguard for Muhammad Ali. Is that right? That's right. All right. And you also, of course, were in that great Rocky III. How did Sylvester Stallone discover you for Rocky III? Well, I was on this bouncer contest that was called America's Toughest Bouncer, and I won it two years in a row. And he saw me on uh, TV being interviewed with my Mandinka-style haircut and mm. standing in a tuxedo. So he said, hey, this guy's different, and he can talk. So then he called me out for interview and audition and uh, won the part. That's right. Boy, I'd hate to have him lose the audition. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Uh, you're currently starring in the A-Team. Now, that's a big hit. How did that come about? Well, the same thing. The producer, he saw the, the Rocky 
three movie, and he said, hey, this guy's uh, got some got something going. Yeah. So I better get him on there. All right, now listen, you, uh, I, I, you know, I always see you in a tough kind of macho style, but I, I'm sure you have a great sense of humor, certainly listening to the beginning of the show. Uh, I was wondering uh, <laughs> if, you, if you'd like to help us introduce the comedy contestants tonight. Would you mind doing that? Sure, I think I'll love that, you know. Okay. I'll laugh sometimes. And if you want to take home some of the, <laughs> want to take home some of the scenery, go ahead, you know. <laughs> All right, your comedy champion for the night is returning for the second time from Seattle. Here's Rick Dukerman. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Boy, it's too bad that uh, Joe DiMaggio isn't on the show. Then we could have Mr. Coffee and Mr. T on tonight. <laughs> I'm from Seattle, but I'm thinking of moving to Florida because I want to be a little bit closer to the space shuttle because someday I want to live in space. Uh, I want to live in space because they have weightlessness in space. I like the idea of someone going, Rick, what do you weigh? Nothing. <laughs> Not a thing. I'm going to eat this jelly donut because it doesn't weigh anything either. <laughs> I don't know why I'm big. I have two brothers my size, and when we were growing up, our mother knew absolutely nothing about food. She used to make us clear our plates, so she'd say, Boys, if you don't finish your lemon pie, you don't get any dessert. Mom, <laughs> we're 800 pounds over here, babe. The other kids are throwing snowballs at us. They aren't hitting us. They're going into orbit around us. <laughs> You're bathing us at the car wash. Boy, California is ever great here. You know, it's something that's strange here. People are very weird in California. People here have this belief that plants can understand us. We can communicate with plants. Now, I'll assume that that's true, but if we assume they can understand, why do we assume that you have to be nice to them? Wouldn't they understand if you went up behind them with a blowtorch and a butcher knife? You're gonna grow, aren't you, you little green goof? <laughs> Don't just give them the water, turn the heat in the house up to about 150, then go, you're thirsty, aren't you? <laughs> You'd like a little drink, wouldn't you? Then bloom. <laughs> want your plants to grow? Let them watch you make salad. <laughs> Chop up the lettuce and the celery, friend of yours. <laughs> Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you, Rick. All right, Mr. T, our judges are casting their votes. The challenger. And already here to challenge the comedy champion is a young man from Madison, Wisconsin, Joe Madison. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, this is, uh, this is very exciting for me. This is the first time I've been on TV, and I thought tonight, because of that fact, I thought I'd make an announcement tonight. Uh, I'm getting married. <laughs> not, uh, not right away. Uh, I uh, got to meet a woman first. Um, <laughs> got to go out on dates and stuff like that, and that's, uh, that's not real easy for me to do at this point. Two years ago, I moved back home uh, with my mom, and uh, that is not easy. Uh, to do. It's not easy to live at home uh, being an adult. I thought it would be, but it's not. You find one thing, no matter how old you are, your parents will still treat you like a child. And it's sad. It's really sad. I, we fight all the time. I remember our first fight two years ago when I first moved in about something real stupid. Allowance. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I figured five bucks is a little thin. <laughs> so I'm getting a hundred and a quarter a week. That works out. All right. yeah. One thing has dramatically changed, though. I lived on my own for six years, moved back home to discover I now have a working mom, a working mother. She is gone all day. I am home alone. <laughs> what kind of environment is this for me? You know, I... <laughs> I could drink bleach. You know, I... <laughs> this is not good. You know, and, and my mom will actually threaten punishment to me at my age. She will threaten... Last time I got in trouble, she actually threatened to send me to bed without my supper. <laughs> I mean, I'm 27 years old. I'm smart enough. I got two sandwiches hidden in there at all times. <laughs> but again, my, mom is always there, though. She is always the one that's helped me out of depression, which is nice. I remember when I, uh, uh, I flunked math when I was in high school. And my first F, a lot of Ds along the way, but my first F. And uh, I felt really bad. She came up and she said, don't feel so bad. Einstein flunked high school math. I felt really good about myself for a long time. Uh, till I read a book about Einstein about a year ago. Did you know he did flunk high school math? But what my mom never told me was he was only four years old at the time. Yeah. 
Thank you very much. I'm Joel Madsen. Have a good night. Thank you, Joel. All right, the judges give champion Rick Ruberman. Let's see it. Four stars. Woo! All right, to stay in the contest, Joel will have to try that, Mr. T. Let's see what Joel Madison gets. Two and three quarter stars. So Rick Ruberman, once again, is our champion. Congratulations. Okay, it's a pleasure having you here. You and I don't really know each other very well, but you certainly treated me nicely, and I, it's nice to it's nice to be your friend. If there's any trouble, you're with me. Thank you very much. Good night, Mr. T. Thank you. Okay. Good night, Mr. T. Okay, Lisa. We're coming back with the vocal group and the leading lady competition with special guest Bernie Coppell when Star Search continues. Choose from hundreds of products in Best Giant Home Sales. You'll find this Cobra digitally coded cordless telephone. It allows you to make and receive calls anywhere up to 1,000 feet from your base unit. It has a computer memory that lets you store telephone numbers. And you'll find it for only $149.97 now at Best. Look for hundreds of big sale values at Best, where you'll find more of the holiday best for less. Subject, taste comparison of Almaden varietal wines with Taylor California Cellars varietal wines. Experiment, blind taste test conducted with thousands of wine drinkers in 10 major cities across the United States. Results, Chenin Blanc, Almaden beat Taylor. French Colombard, Almaden beat Taylor. Zinfandel, Almaden beat Taylor. In fact, Almaden beat Taylor on six of seven wines. Conclusion, Almaden's taste will win you over too. Living young and eating smart, with Mazzola, you're thinking young at heart. This family thinks young at heart, and that means Mazzola, for the snap in salads or the crunch in my fried chicken. See, Mazzola's the only leading brand that's pure corn oil, just perfect in a sensible diet to help reduce serum cholesterol. Sensible? It's delicious. <laughs> with Mazzola, you're thinking young at heart. Years ago, Fisher introduced high fidelity. And now, Fisher introduces their ultimate fidelity, a laser-operated digital disc player, perfectly integrated into the Fisher System 4900, a system that makes music so pure, it's unlike anything you've ever imagined, let alone experienced. Welcome back to Star Search. This is week number 10 of the competition. A quick reminder, the four acts in each category, which win the most number of times during the season, will return to the semifinals. Now, in the vocal group category, the semifinal contenders are hot with two wins. And Sidewinder with three wins. Our current champions are playing for their second win tonight from New York City, Kid Danger and the Skirts. Stay at home at night, right by the phone at night.
Danger and the Scourge. We'll see the ratings in a moment. First, let's meet their challengers. Featuring lead singer Mark Miller, they're a group from Nashville called Sawyer Brown. <laughs> Hits the stage and everybody's up on their feet. Lagger well, and Jones are out in San Antonio, got them sitting on the edge of their seat. We and our dollies out in Hollywood, we really went to Washington and sang on the slick in your seat. We got them smoking in the Rockies, rocking in the Smokies. Well, everybody loves to hear them country boys sing. We got them smoking in the Rockies, rocking in the Smokies, all across the We'll see the beat of Dallas, Tennessee, jamming the night away. Oh, down in Savannah, they're digging Alabama, and Jerry's in Colorado Springs. We got them smoking in the Rockies, rocking in the smoke. Everybody loves to hear them country boys. Well, the Oak Ridge boys in Chicago, Illinois, Elvira had them climbing the wall. Folks fly from Boston all the way to Austin to hear a wailing well that's on. We got them smoking in the Rockies, rocking in the Smokies, all across the USA. A CD feeding down in Tennessee, jamming the night away. Oh, down in Savannah, they're digging out of Alabama, and here it is in Colorado Springs. We got them smoking in the Rockies, rocking in the Smokies. Well, everybody loves Hear them country boys sing. We got them smoking in the Rockies, rocking in the Smokies, smoking in the Rockies, rocking in the Smokies. But everybody loves to hear them country boys sing. Get Danger received. Three stars. Their challengers, Sawyer Browns, received. Three and a quarter star. New champion. New champion. Congratulations. That was a tough one. New champion tonight. Good going, guys. Okay, we'll see you next week. Lisa. Star Search is the world's greatest talent competition, involving a total of a million and a half dollars in cash awards and compensation. Each week, each act on Star Search receives a scale payment in excess of $1,000. Champions receive their scale payment plus a $1,000 bonus with a chance to go to the finals, where the grand champion in each of eight categories will win $100,000. Coming up, my TV spokesmodel challenger, the male vocalist category with six-time winner Sam Harris, and the acting competition with special guest Bernie Coppell.